welcome today is part 7 of the chapter binomial theorem today's first problem is problem number 30 and the problem is if 1 plus x to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square up to cn x to the power n then the value of c0 plus 3c1 plus 5c2 plus 7c3 up to 2n plus 1 cn is how much options n to to the power n plus 1 n into n minus 1 into 2 to the power n third option is n plus 1 2 to the power n and n minus 1 2 to the power n So, given that this binomial expansion is equal to that, this one, then to find value of that, here CR is equal to actually NCR. Now, this is a formula. Now, putting x is equal to 1 on that it is equal to 2 to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1 into 1 plus c2 into 1 square up to c, cn. Let it be 1. Next, differentiate both sides of that given expansion we get n into 1 plus x to the power n minus 1. I differentiate it with respect to x. So right hand side will be, this is constant free of x. So its derivative 0. So c1 plus 2c2x plus next one is 3c3x square up to n n c n x to the power n minus 1. Now put x is equal to 1 on both side of that. So we get n 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to c1 plus 2 c2 plus 3 c3 up to n c n. We have to find C0 plus 3C1, 2C1, 3C1. Okay, now multiply this throughout by 2. So result become throughout by 2, multiply by 2. So that this become N into 2 to the power N is equal to 2C1 plus 4C2 plus 6c3 up to 2ncn. Let it be 2. Now add 1 plus 2. Left hand side become this. This plus that. So 1 plus n into 2 to the power n is equal to c0 plus here is c1 another 2c1 so 3c1 plus c2 plus 4c2 that is 5c2 c3 plus 6c3 so 7c3 this way it is up to cn plus 2n 
cn that is 2n plus 1 cn so we actually we have to find the value of this c0 plus 3c1 plus 5c2 etc and its value obtained as 1 plus n into 2 to the power n so this one option c is correct so next problem problem number 31 31. If coefficient of x and x square in 1 plus x to the power m into 1 minus x to the power n are 4 and minus 8 then the value of m plus n how much options 32 28 24 and 12 this problem is uh, this is a binomial, another binomial, their product. In that expansion, coefficient of x is 4 and coefficient of x square is minus 8. Then, to find the value of n plus n. Now, this expression, expanding this and that, we get 1 plus mx mc1 is m mx plus mc2 m m minus 1 by factorial 2 that is 2 x square and so on multiplied by the second expansion it is 1 minus nx plus nc2 x square now given that coefficient of x of that expansion is 4 now let us collect coefficient of x which is 1 into that that is minus n plus mx into 1 that is m so it is m minus n uh, coefficient of x is equal to 4 and coefficient of x square 1 into that that is it is n n minus 1 by 2 this is 1 x square this with that minus mn this is into x square so this is another coefficient of x square this into that another coefficient of x square n m minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 8. We have to find n plus n. Now simplifying this, it is equal to n square minus n by 2. Minus 2mn, multi I multiply this throughout by 2. 2mn plus m square minus m is equal to minus 16. They together is m 
minus n whole square this this and that minus m plus n is equal to minus 16 but m minus n is 4 so that it is 16 minus m plus n is equal to minus 16 so that m plus n is equal to it is taken to that side so 16 into 2 that is 32 so m plus n its answer is 32 that is option a is correct next Thirty two if sum of coefficient of first and third terms of x square plus one by x to the power m is 22 then coefficient of x to the power 5 how much options 8c5 9c5 7c5 and 7c3 in this problem one binomial is given and it is also given that sum of its coefficient of first term and third term of that is equal to 22 then to find coefficient of x to the power 5 from that expansion. So, coefficient of first term is how much? It is simply 1. Coefficient of, coefficient of first term 1. Coefficient of third term it is equal to mc2 into some power of x. So, coefficient is mc2. So, as per condition, 1 plus mc2 is equal to 22. That is, mc2 is equal to 21. That is, m, m minus 1 by 2 is equal to 21 that is m into m minus 1 is equal to 42 now it is a quadratic in m so very easily it can be solved but we can factorize it in this way also it is 6 into 7 that is 7 into 6 now you see it is two consecutive integers m and m minus 1 it is two consecutive integers. So, m is equal to 7. So, we get value of m. Then to find the coefficient of x to the power 5. Now, in first term, it contains x square to the power 5. That is x to the power 10. In next term, it is x to the power, how much it will be decreased? by 2 
plus 1, 3. So next term will contain x to the power 7. Next term, that is, it is decreased by 2 plus 1, 3. Next term will be con 10. Hmm. 5 to 10. 5, so it is, oh sorry, m is 7, very sorry. So first term contain x to the power 2 whole to the power 7. So x to the power 14. Next term it will contain 3 less, that is 11, then 8, then 5 x to the power 5 is here. So first, second, third, fourth term will contain x to the power 5. 3, 3 less, 3 less. Okay. Then uh, the required coefficient of x to the power 5 is, it, it is actually in fourth term, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is equal to 5, uh, sorry, 7, C, Four. Fourth term. It is actually one, two, three, four. So it is seven C three. So option D is correct answer. Next. Problem number thirty three. His problem is the number of terms of x to the power half plus 1 by x to the power 1 by 3 to the power 100 containing integral powers of x containing integral powers of x is how much options. 19, 17, 16, and 12. The, what is the meaning of the problem? This is another binomial. Here is x to the power half plus 1 by x to the power 1 by 3 to the power 100. It must have 101 terms. Now we have to find the number of terms in which powers of x will be integer, integral powers of x. That is, powers of x in that terms must be integers. So, you see, first term contains x to the power half to the power 100. So it is x to the power 50, which is integer. So first term will contain integral power of x. It is, its power is 1 by 2 and its power is minus 1 by 3, this one. Now, we find, actually we want integral powers, whether it is positive or negative, it does not matter. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. If first term contains x to the power 50, one integral power, after each sixth term, it will be integers. So there are 101 terms, first term is integer. So how many integral powers will be there? The 100 divided by 6. 16 is there. So after after first term, there are 16 terms which contain integral powers. So altogether, 
there are 1 plus 16, that is 17 terms, which are integral powers of x. So this is correct answer. So once again, I repeat that, that, that one. First term is x to the power 50, 100 c1 into, oh sorry, 100 c0 into x to the power 50. It is integral power. Now, power of x, one is half and other is minus 1 by 3. So, after each six terms, after each six terms, power will be integers. So, the, between 101, first term is integer. So, after that, 100 terms are there. So, dividing 100 by 6, there are 16. So, 16 terms after first term will be there, which will contain integral power of x. For example, you see, the first term is integral, then after 6 term means 7, this is, this term will be equal to 100 c 6 into x to the power half to the power uh, uh, 94 into x to the power minus 1 by 3 to the power 6. You see, this is integer. This is also integer. So they together is x to the power an integer. So after six terms contain integer powers. So our answer is 17. Option B is correct. Next. Now, problem number 34. The number of terms containing positive powers of x in x cube minus 1 by x to the power 16. Very simple problem. The number of terms containing positive power of x. Options 18, 16, 14 and 12. What is the meaning? The first term of that expansion is x to the power 3 whole to the power 16, 48. It is positive power of x. After that, power of x will be decreased. How much? 3 plus 1, 1 in denominator, 4. So after that, 4 uh, power of x will be decreased by 4. So next will contain x to the power 44, then 40, then 36, then 32, then 28, then 24, then 20, then 16, 12, 8, 4, then 0. After that, it will be negative. So now, question is, how much positive integer, positive powers of x is there? So this is positive, this is positive. Up to this, this is positive, this is not positive because it is zero. But neither positive nor negative. So actually we have to count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So 12, posit, 12 terms are there containing positive power of x. So answer is 12. Next. Problem number 35. The sum of 
21C16 plus sigma i is equal to 1 to 4 20 plus i c 5 plus i options 25 c 16 24 c 15 24 c 16 and 25 c 9 actually the, we have to find the sum of that it is sum of binomial quick few binomial coefficients we have to find their sum so actually this is equal to 21 c 16 plus first term is corresponding to i is equal to 1 21 c 6 plus then corresponding to i is equal to 2 that is 22 c 7 plus 23 c 8 plus 24 c 9 now you see this can be written as 21 c 16 cannot be added with that because there is a formula that n c r plus n c r plus 1 uh, its sum is equal to n plus 1 c r plus 1 take next hat term and here mm, two consecutive integers we have to take the greater one now this can be written as 21 c this is actually 5. 21C16 is equal to 21C5. Or rather, this is equal to that. Plus 21C6 plus 22C7 plus 23C8 plus 24C9. Now, when added they together, this is equal to these two are equal and consecutive integers so it is 22 c 6 so they two are added now take this with that they together is this is 22 this is 22 and two consecutive integers so it is equal to 23 c 7 so up to this is that then take this and that next one that together is 24 c 8 now consider this with that it is equal to 25 c 9 so option d is correct okay let us stop today i request you to like share